It's time now for my alternative news headlines. And let's kick off with the news that Donald Trump loves being the DJ at his golf resort Mar-a-Lago in Florida. And apparently his favorite song is YMCA. I'm surprised that that yellow hard hat doesn't interfere with his hair. Well, it got us to thinking here on Mark Dolan tonight. What are the pop hits might ex-president Donald Trump be a fan of? So here goes. I'm still standing in 2024. Another brick in the wall and we'll get Mexico to build it. That Bob Dylan classic blow drying in the wind. A whiter shade of orange. Strawberry blonde fields forever. (laughs) Yeah, what a classic. Make American pie great again. And this one will always bring a tear to your eye. China seems to be the hardest word. China. China. Vladimir Putin's appalling invasion of Ukraine continues, but could peace be in the offing? The Kremlin has said it would stop the war if Ukraine ceased military action, enshrined in its constitution that it had no plans to join NATO, gave up annexed Crimea and recognized the separatist regions of Donetsk and Luhansk. It also added that Vladimir Putin would like a third series of The Office starring Ricky Gervais. He'd also like a full Chelsea strip, an Oasis reunion. Come on, lads, make it happen. And last but not least, Putin wants the biggest desk you can get from DFS. Let's hope they've got a sale on. The government's exams body, Ofqual, has advised that schools can use special considerations to help pupils suffering from exam anxiety. That's right, exam anxiety including sitting papers at different times or in a nicer environment. Crazy. I remember the good old days when you had exam anxiety because you were thick. Why do you think I haven't got a proper job? A Russian court has ruled the trademark for Peppa Pig can be ignored as the Kremlin condemn restrictive Western measures. It's feared the legendary kid's character will now be exploited by copycats and cheap ripoffs. Well... Exclusively here on Mark Dolan tonight, we can report that Peppa Pig is not happy. We've got this strongly worded statement and it reads as follows. Oink, 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 oink. Harsh words. Sir Rod Stewart has had to fill the potholes on his street after the council ignored the problem. The rock superstar complained, I can't get my Ferrari through here at all. Once he's done that, he'll deal with the low hanging branches interfering with his famous hairdo. Back to Russia now, and the Sunday press are reporting that Vladimir Putin is suffering from something called roid rage. That's right, roid rage from steroid treatment for cancer. Western spies believe his increasingly erratic behavior, bloated appearance and extreme social distancing for visitors is caused by medical treatment. Look, I know we're at war and we hate the guy, but perhaps here in the West, we should show some compassion and send him some medicine. A couple of grams of Novichok should do the trick. You'll find some in Salisbury. My mother swears by it. The Spice Girls are in talks to headline Glastonbury for the last show of their world tour in 2023. And here on Mark Dolan tonight, we have exclusive access to their show rider. That's their demands for backstage. It includes a family pack of Werther's Originals and comfortable shoes. And finally, great news, folks. One of my favorite people, fitness and health care expert Joe Wicks is expecting his third child with his lovely wife, Rosie. Apparently, the baby is already kicking and doing squats, pull-ups and crunches. And those are your alternative news headlines.